Hey guys, what's up? So finally, the IKEA haul video is in the making, and I have sat down to show you everything that I've bought. Uh, by the way, if you don't know me, my name is Shraddha, and I go by the name Winter Socks on Instagram. I make uh, DIY and art and travel related content on Instagram. This haul is not going to be a complete haul. This is just a decor item because a lot of my stuff from IKEA has not come yet. Uh, it's going to take another two days. Uh, which is furniture, which is like big pieces, which I couldn't take from the store. So I'm going to tell you everything about IKEA. So please make sure you watch this video till the end. And there's a bonus also. So IKEA India, I'm sure everybody who's gone to IKEA in any country knows this. But for all Indians, uh, I think it's a very new concept, especially in furniture store. It's a very very new concept. And personally, I feel it's great branding. I think it's a really nice way of building relationship with uh, your customers. So that is the bonus part that is going to be at the end of this video. So please make sure you watch the whole video. So let's start. So this is the first bag. Uh, this is the, the only bag that I uh, could accommodate all my decor items into. Uh, there are more bags and. <laughs> Uh, more products that I couldn't fit in the bag. Uh, I will show that to you. But uh, let's begin with this cute lamp. Uh, this is the lamp. I think it's pretty cute. Uh, it's very small. It's not very big, but I think it goes really well with side tables or even if you have like credenzas. So credenzas are basically when you enter a house or if you enter any uh, passage on the side, you see these small tables which can hold like small things. So those those are called credenzas. So these uh, can really, you know, enhance the look of your credenzas or your side tables. So I'm going to assemble this and show it to you how it looks. Then I got this cute fake plant. I know it's fake, and I personally don't promote fake plants, but exactly the opposite. I have all the fake plants in the world, but uh, I'm a believer of having original plants in the house, and I have quite a few. But I think for small areas or even just to decorate a few spaces where there's not enough sunlight, I think you can have a few fake plants here and there. So I got this uh, for I think about 400 or 300 rupees. And this is just the plant. It's like the real plant. It, it comes in a black. I have ordered some really cute planters online and there were planters in IKEA as well. But I thought I could experiment a little bit. I wanted something really modern and uh, something unique. So I've ordered some planters from an another online store. And I'm going to put this in that. So yeah, this was another purchase. By the way, the lamp that I bought was for 600 rupees, which is very cheap. Actually, its MRP is around 900 to, to 1000. But since IKEA is having a great uh, launch sale, a lot of their products are at a very, very reasonable price. So I think if you can, you should use it IKEA. Uh, a little more about how to visit IKEA, how to get there, all of that I'm going to tell you in a bit. The next thing is this frame. Uh, this is very trendy. You will see on a lot of YouTube videos and a lot of flatly photographers, a lot of these lifestyle photography channels, you see this frame. So this is a clear glass brass frame and the frame is very sleek and it has a clear uh, border inside which there's a there's artwork right now. But I'm going to create something very interesting with this. Uh, there's going to be a very nice uh, DIY video about this on my Instagram release. So stay tuned for that. This I got for $6.99, so MRP $6.99 but I'm sure I got it like 20% off because almost all products were 20% cheaper than their MRP. So I think this was around uh, 3 to 400 which is really good great. This again goes with uh, a lot of your shelf decor, your credenzas, all of that. Another, another piece that I really really like is this clock. It's a vintage clock. This was in color black and white. I don't know if I have taken the picture of the black one but this is the one that I really like and uh, this is again going to go either on my shelves or on my table or on my side desk where I sleep. So let's see but it's really cute, it has really nice aesthetics. I don't know if I should open it, I don't know if people open this in all but maybe I should. Yeah, I found my scissors so I'm just going to open this. This is how the packaging is or something really pretty right now. I think it looks really cute with this arrangement as well. Napkins that I got. So these are actually from the kitchen section and uh, these are really cute. I think they have great design. They are pretty big as well. So uh, they can replace our traditional black and uh, white and red uh, pochas in the kitchen. And these are also very cheap. I think they are like 30 rupees. Actually, it's expensive for one piece, but it's quite big and it's good quality. This bunch I got for. 
hundred rupees. Uh, so it's really great. I think it's a it's a bundle of four. Actually, I haven't uh, purchased for kitchen. This is for my photography. So food photography, you know, I think props and relevant uh, equipment and like relevant props in the frame make a lot of difference. So these uh, are some designs that can go really well with contemporary frames. So this is for that. This storage box. When you assemble this, this looks really nice. Can hold your miscellaneous items like small small things in the house that are lying around. Like I'm trying to majorly declutter my life, especially my stuff, all the props and all the small small things that keep lying around everywhere, which I completely hate. Like earlier I used not care about it enough, but now I think it's just getting to me so much that I have to get a box and put it inside. So this is for that, and I have uh, actually taken two to stack it in on top of each other. So these are about. Uh, the size of this is 18 by 25 by 15, so it's a rectangular box, and I think it's 7 by 9, which is fair. It's not too big, it's not too small, and both are the same size. And I think that I got this for around uh, 299 or 400, 399. This was really, really reasonable. And there are many variations in this. Like there's a like a huge box also in the same design. It has really cute. Uh, You know holders on the side, which is very nice, and then one of the reasons why I got this. Plus, I've been obsessed with this cane and uh, you know natural uh, textures lately, so I wanted to add these in my house. Next up is these the pillowcases that I have been looking for a very, very, very long time. So this is a very different texture. You might think this is just a yellow color, and why? Why am I raving so much about it? But uh, this is actually it's kind of cotton, but not cotton. And uh, it's like very, it's a very different color which I have not seen in Indian market because uh, Indians associate yellow with a very different color, and what you see in the market easily is very different. So this is uh, like a, a very like deep uh, ochre, but not really ochre. Mustard, but not really mustard. It's like a very different color. It's very perfect to what I want. Then. Of course, I had to buy ceramics. Uh, IKEA has a really big section for ceramics and like these plates and coffee mugs and everything. Their designs are so cute. Oh my God, my heart is burning for you to open this. I'm so scared. So this is my new plate in which I'm going to eat food every single day now. I don't think I can go back from you know this is like love at first sight. You can see the excitement on my face when I saw this plate. I was like, this is it. I am not going to skip this plate at all. Like I'll skip anything else if it doesn't fit my budget. But this I need. This is the other one. So these two plates are have my heart. I mean, they're so pretty. Like I don't know if the camera will adjust to the color. Or the MRP I think is five hundred rupees, but I got them for three hundred, three hundred. So right now I can't have any that launch sale. So just I'm going to keep them. Really nice. Uh, after that, I got this really nice pie maker. This is for baking, and uh, I am planning to do something really interesting in this. This is very cute. It's like I think it's it's one inch, two inch, th two inch deep, and uh, it is for pies. And if you want to make a cake, or if you just want to make lasagna or anything of that sort, I think this is for that. Or even if you want to serve in this. Uh, I'm not really sure if you can bake in this. I'm not sure of that, but it looks like it was written in stoneware. It was written that it is made for baking, but I'm not really sure what it looks like. Maybe you can make a pie, or maybe you can make lasagna. In this, you can make lasagna in this, but not cake. Maybe I don't know. I'll have to check that. But yeah, I'll do all my research on it. Then I'll use it. I'm not going to break it at any point. So it's this. Uh, this is also this is from a special section which I'm going to mention at the end of the video. Like I said, it's a special section where I'm going to tell you a little bit of uh, different concept that IKEA has come up with, especially for Indians. It's different all over the world. I'm sure it's like a uh, it's like a normal thing, but for Indians, it's a privilege. This uh, you will not believe. This is for 700. I bought it for 300 rupees. How? I'm going to tell you at the end of the video. Uh, the next thing that I really wanted for many many At the store, I was very confused if I could get this or not because this is quite big and uh, this takes up a lot of space. Uh, also, this is very common. Like you will see in many many Instagram creators or many people all around the world having this because it's very functional. It's very easy. Basically, these holes you can add 
different accessories that you get at IKEA and you can use it as your pen board, as your vision board, as any board that you want and pictures or you can even hang like real tools and your, your camera gear or like small stuff you can do there's a lot you can do with this for this piece, I think it's for 1200, this is a bigger one so there's a smaller size, which is a square size uh, which is I think for around 700 rupees this was for 1200 because it's bigger but I got this for, it's for 1820, this one's for 1820 I got this for 600 rupees so I had to buy it there was no way I couldn't so yeah, this, so this is a huge frame I don't know if it's seen in the frame fully because I have put it on top sensor so this is uh, a 70 by 50 cm frame with masking I have two of these and these frames are going to go here right behind me uh, and I'm sure they're going to be great and the final piece has to be This chair, I am I'm holding it like a baby. This chair has such a story I can't even begin with. Uh, this chair, first of all, look at this chair. It's so pretty, it's so beautiful. Uh, these chairs are called something you will see in all the high end uh, wedding and all the high end events you see these chairs in India as well. But this is a very European, very very elegant, very classy, very nice chair and I've been wanting this chair a long time now I have seen these in many flavors, very many banana flavor phones uh, especially in uh, home decor flavors and especially creators all of that so I wanted this chair for a better and I wanted to create a space where I can take pictures with this, I can create vintage uh, portraits with this so this chair is going to be handy and I actually was not sure if I wanted to buy this chair because it is a little expensive uh, this chair is for around 6,000 rupees if you buy it online or if you buy it in the store or the prestige. But, like I mentioned, I am going to tell you all about something really special about IKEA. So, so IKEA has this section where they display their uh, products, those were on display in the store. And those products are usually either a little new here and there or the other story is that if the package is broken. So these are two reasons why IKEA keeps a different section where you get all of these products which are on display or uh, the packaging is broken or anything for literally 70% off. I mean that's not even funny uh, when I discovered so this uh, section is actually at the end of the store. I think IKEA is amazing. It's so brilliantly made. Uh, everything is so well thought of and the whole experience was good and by the end of the experience when I made my uh, delivery receipt and everything I'll tell you about that uh, when I was finished with everything then I saw this section where everything was 70% off and I just couldn't couldn't stop myself from getting this one because I wanted this chair but my budget was going uh, a lot of my budget was going in my new desk so I couldn't get this but now I have her and I am so happy uh, so this chair is for 6000 and believe me when I say this I was you know I would take a loan if I had to but I had to buy this chair because I bought it for 1600 rupees which is around $70 which is really cheap and I got it uh, one thing about these products is that so they uh, about this section I don't know what is it called uh, usually there's a different label and there's a different price and there's a story written why is it being sold for so cheap so usually it is, I got that pegboard also for uh, in that section and the pegboard had only one problem that the packaging, the, the plastic over it was broken a little bit When I saw it, I was like, are you crazy? Like, is IKEA crazy for doing this? I mean, but yeah, I think that's what counts That is the reason why you can trust the brand, you can trust um, their products, their services, everything If you're visiting the IKEA store for the first time, I think it can be really overwhelming So make sure you have a list and uh, Make sure you know what, you, what you're going there for. If you're just going to experience it, nothing like you're going to pick up anything you like. But if you seriously want to buy a lot of things from IKEA, you should be very focused. Trust me, I'm telling you. I thought I will not need it. I will just end up with it. I'll buy my table and come back. I ended up buying so much. Uh, so it's very overwhelming still. I never have a portal to these different, different areas of uh, you know, furniture options. I had my living room in my mind. I was thinking if I had my head that. I want to do my living room first, living room and studio first. So I just uh, look for prices, especially of things that I want to buy. 
so please subscribe if you haven't and if you like this video please like it and let me know in the comments if you would want more hauls because i have been shopping quite a lot because i'm redoing my uh, entire living room plus studio that's it for this video hope you guys liked it don't forget to subscribe to my channel see you in the next video bye